Hey, man. Gavin here. I know I haven't written home lately, so I wanted to catch you up. Let me tell you about how great last night was as I scrambled to get ready for work this morning. Dude, it was epic. My buddies and I went from party to party, dancing and socializing over snacks and drinks in those intoxicating neons. Flashing discos didn't hurt either. I love this city, there's always something to do anyway, I met this really great girl who gave me her number on a napkin. We got to talk for a bit before her friends came and pulled her away to go to their next place of interest. She's a nurse and her name was Gina? No, no Dolly. I don't remember because like an idiot I set the napkin down on the table instead of putting it in my pocket. It must have gotten caught up in the dirty ones that went with our snack plate and drinks. I'm pretty sure the waitress threw it away? My dumb luck, I guess dot so, the rest of the night, my buddies are trying to cheer me up. We did some more partying and late night socializing before I realized that I have to work tomorrow. I finally got the architect job I've been working so hard for, and I do not want to lose it. So, without further thought, I dismiss myself and take some ribbing from my friends about being a working stiff. They have jobs they don't care about, but me, I'm going places. That's why I love this city, there are so many opportunities that just wouldn't be available to me anywhere else. That, and I can't be the only person in the world who enjoys walking at night. The crisp, cool air and beautifully historic lamp posts reflecting psychedelic colors off the wet pavement are some of the reasons I love this city. You can walk at night and not feel alone because you are not the only one walking home, safety in numbers. Unless a creepy guy starts staring and walking toward you, you're pretty good, however, speaking of lights, they never turn off, ever. The noise doesn't either. This is great if you never intend to sleep because who has time for that? Just ask my neighbor on the second floor. He seems to think I want to hear his music blaring at ungodly times. Sometimes even before my alarm clock sounds? Yes, other than that and the filth in the streets which we won't talk about, I love this city. There's always someone to meet or something to do. And a line to wait in dot on my way to work, I pass by the dreaded grocery store where everyone waits in a long line for checkout. There are so many people it's nearly impossible to get in and get out like we want. In fact, I think that rule can be applied pretty much everywhere, especially restaurants. No matter where you go, it's almost an hour's wait. However, they have the best food anywhere. I tried the lobster sorbet yesterday down on Franklin Avenue. To die for. And by that, I mean the price too, my commute continues as I make it to the bus stop. I get on an overcrowded, smelly, and probably germ-infested bus with wall-to-wall -wall people. Nothing annoys me more on a bus than the guy we've all seen leaning on the pole taking up enough space for five people? Who are they, the Queen of England? I mean, come on dot I finally get off the bus and to walk a block away to the architectural building where I work. A block doesn't seem far unless you get behind some slow-walking tourists who want to take a picture every 200 feet. However, I understand, the city is beautiful? Especially at Christmas. Lights and garland everywhere, Christmas music, and festiveness on every corner and even in between. The place looks like a postcard. And the snow. Oh? The snow, the snow clogs the roadways and is too cold for the street performers to play without getting their lips stuck to their instruments. I saw it once, not pretty. Just about the only instrument that can be played without freezing are the church bells. I love to hear them sound every Sunday morning as families gather to go to church. Mine isn't far from my building, so I don't have to worry about dealing with any slow walkers like the ones ahead of me this morning. Or the dog walkers, seriously, I think everyone became a dog owner overnight. This guy has 10 on a leash. Oh, he's a paid dog walker, he has a t-shirt advertising his services. As you know, I'm not a dog person. I could not be that guy. I'd better get past him if I'm to make it on time. In my sprint past the dog walker and ten dogs to get to work just two doors down, I trip. Tangled in a couple of leashes, I twist my ankle in the fall that ripped my shirt and pants. The guy apologizes, but unfortunately, that doesn't cure the fact that I can't get up. My swelling ankle tells me I'd better head to the hospital to be sure it's not broken since it did catch the cement sidewalk on way down. So, I have to call into work anyway, 
even though my rent is as overpriced as my lobster sorbet? And my cab fare to the hospital. I guess I can now be grateful for our excellent medical care. Though sitting in an overcrowded waiting room has me rethink things a bit. Do I really love this city enough to stay? Finally, my number is called, and I hobble to exam room too. Who walks in to greet me, but the familiar smile from a nurse I met last night? I guess God is still looking out for me. Her name is Sandy, by the way. I love this city, anytime you want to come to visit, we can definitely make it happen. Until next time, Gavin.